So this is an old photo album that we found um, of Uncle Leonard, Leonard Calloway Pratt's. Um, he was from Alabama, his family was. They were all educators and judges and everything else. And um, they erected his ancestors were Daniel Pratt. That was an uncle um, in relation to his family. And he had the world's largest cotton gin manufacturing corporation. They built um, homes in Georgia and Alabama. The old Southern Bell homes. Um, Leonard Calloway Pratt, his ancestor, erected the Centerville um, Confederate Monument. And it was protected by Alabama Supreme Court. Um... The Pratt House is at the Briarfield Furnace um, location that was destroyed during the war. And they made the artillery for the Confederacy. And they just did a video on the um, Pratt Cotton Gin Manufacturing Corporation. And they mentioned that about the China. Um, they had settings for 2,000 people, and this was back in the 1800s, and I'm just going to tell you, they did it through China. <laughs> That's how they did it. Um, we were combined even as far back as then, um, and you had to hand wash all that stuff back then. I bet that's where they learned how to make dishwashers. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you some of the old cars. I flew with my Uncle Leonard. I actually flew the Liberator World War II air bomber um, in the Confederate, the Ghost Squadron, when I was about 16. And Uncle Leonard had taken me to the top of Petty Jink Mountain to the Rockefeller Center. And I met Chelsea Clinton. She was younger than me. And I, um, unfortunately met Clinton, Hillary, and Bill. But, um, I've gone back up there since then in a vehicle. I knew I'd been there on a plane. And, um, I found the Rockefeller Center. And I actually took one of my helpers with me. Um, because they wanted to go up that way too for work. And they freaked out because there was security whenever we went up on these premises. And nobody really knew it was there. Um, they have an airstrip there, so it kind of freaked them out. But Leonard Calloway Pratt flew planes for the Civil Service Air Patrol. He was big into all of it. Um, he did State Farm. He did scouting uh, for baseball, for... Old cars for music. Music was very, very relevant. Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, the Swaggers, Jimmy Swagger, Mickey Gilly. I mean, it would go on and on and on. Um, Uncle Leonard actually wrote the song Mississippi Queens when he was in the Air Force. Um, I found so much history, you guys, and it's just, it's amazing to me, and it really upsets me because I know for a fact that when, um, Uncle Leonard went down and he had to go into the nursing home, people destroyed the property so that my aunt was, like, forced to sell it for a little bit of nothing, most of it was stolen, you know, it just, it's disgusting what was done. It really is. Um, the legacy is like almost non-existent now because of the thefts. But, you know, it goes on and on, right? I'm going to put my charger in my phone because um, it's going dead. I'm going to try to keep this video... Short. Uh, Leonard Pratt was a State Farm agent here in Bastrop, Louisiana. He left the Alabama family. Um, 
if you know anything about Leonard Skinner, the the professor that it was named after was a relative. Um, there's just so much history. You just you would not believe how it's all tied together. Um, the Confederacy is tied to all of it, every bit of it. And oh, I love this car. I would so drive that. The planes are a big part of it. Oh, look at that one. I rode in when, um, he had one of the, like, Bonnie and Clyde type vehicles with the suicide doors. And I rode in that thing. That was one of the ones stolen. Um, the blocker man come and sold it and took it to Florida and sold it at an auction is what we are, we believe to be the case. And he did that by coming to a piece of property. He had bought a building for $100,000 that had a Woody station wagon in it worth way more than that. And, um, you know, Aunt Carolyn had to sell it because they were breaking into it and sabotaging it. But he came back to another piece of property later and stole a car that she had kept for years and years. And, um, it had the suicide doors. It was worth $25,000, even in disrepaired state, just because of the actual vehicle it was. And, um, that broke her heart. So, that broke my heart. And I have made it my mission to sit here and document everything. And this was Crystal. Crystal went missing um, right before Uncle Leonard went down. And this was Tad. This was Uncle Leonard's dog. <laughs> he loved Uncle Leonard. And this one's just cute. I don't know what that one is. There's an old car there. Oh, he had that at his house, too. Look at that. 